Um, you're not really sure what. It's, uh, oh, give me an evidence analysis role at half, Russ, and only Russ since he's the only one allowed on the ladder. That not at half. Now, there you go. I point this out to uh, to Cynthia and uh, see if she can make anything of it. Ooh, uh, you get to go up on the ladder. Yeah. Do I kick uh, it out while uh, she's up on top of the ladder? No, <laughs> no but I do say remember who's in charge here. Good. Yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, Senpai. Is there anybody around? Uh, there's there's uh, various host hotel staff that are uh, like pretending either you're pretty sure that they're pretending to move shit around so they can watch you guys um so just evidence analysis or uh, if you make your electronics then you can try evidence analysis at half uh unless rock suddenly kicks the ladder while you're up there in which case <laughs> it will be harder no no but i might i might i might throw a flower on the later to yeah the nice yeah, we're good. You're, you're, it's almost looking like somebody took a taser and went, yeah, against the camera. There's a little Ooh. burn mark. So it came from an external or not internal. Okay. I blocked it together. I blocked. He kicks the ladder on. Tell me what you found. <laughs> no, no. There are people watching. I can kick the ladder. Uh, um, so. Okay. Anything else? Anything else, Was that it? That's it. Okay. <clears throat> Anything else, guys? Um, that's it, really. Okay. Let's go to the car. Let's get back to the lab. Go. Cool. All right. So as soon as we're in the car, I look at um. Well, nobody's Freddie. Um, you were usually very cavalier out here in the zones. Uh, in this case, <laughs> we're CSI. We need to keep a professional demeanor. So you're going to have to be uh, on your manners. Hmm. <laughs> just, just, destroyer of worlds looks at I, you. I know, I know, I know. You have trouble with manners, but you know, we don't want you wearing a bucket on your head by the time we're done with this. I button up my shirt, straighten up, sit in the car. Okay, I drive us to the lab. Fed forward. Give me your drive roll for the adventure, Russ, because I know that you are better than do it as Levin. Uh, he just made one earlier already. He hasn't. He hasn't actually driven anywhere this adventure. Oh. You got out of the car. And <laughs> right, he wow. guns it in, into another fucking car. It's like all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Fuck it, fuck it. Fuck it. I'll blow a pause on that shit. I'm not doing an odd odd fumble on that. All right, yeah. crit. That would have been a fucking beautiful scene. We need to be very professional. <laughs> <laughs> so I have a little trouble. I put it in reverse first, hit the car behind me, and then drive like a fucking boss. <laughs> if you spend a pause, you don't end up running over anything. Or <laughs> so, uh, right. Really, really he, he's driving like, you know, he's doing movie driving now where he's like talking to people and kind of ignoring the road, but everything's working out perfectly because you're actually being towed by a camera car and shit. So, anyway. <laughs> that would have been a great scene, but fuck it, we're not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> um, let's see, have you guys actually been in the Chicago Police Department before? Yeah, I've been to one. I don't know Chicago, but they're different in different parts of the city, Logan. So we better really? describe it. Um, yeah, uh, no problem. You guys, uh, does anybody have a way of figuring out which uh, precinct? I look at in? my ID and see where I'm. Yeah, sitting. okay, perfect. All right, so you guys head to the uh, back to the correct precinct and play the "Where's my desk?" Fortunately, all these motherfuckers have labels on their desk and shit because you have to have some sort of territorial war in the police department. Otherwise, somebody may just take your whole desk. So, oh, yeah, um, you guys are back to the police department. <laughs> take your whole desk. <laughs> My oh, desk yeah. now. Uh, we need a forensic, need a forensic lab and grab a secure computer and check out the thumb drive. Something really weird happens with the thumb drive. Um, it's mm -hmm. trying to connect to something, but it says out of out, signal out of range. 
Right. Well, but in addition to that, uh, the it it looks like there's a bunch of uh, saved shit on the uh, thumb drive. Um, oh. Yeah, uh, it looks like uh, movie type files. Oh, I I play one of them. All right, no problem. Bow, uh, chicka, it, bow, bow. I get popcorn out. No Ooh. problem. You guys gather around. Creamer versus, it's creamer versus creamer. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Let me find this real quick for you. It's uh, it's not quite exactly what you expected. Well, then where'd it go? It's home movies that were strangling her husband. No. That would have been fucking boss there. That would have been the shit, just fucking strangling the shit out. Hold yeah. <laughs> on a second. Yeah. I had to put in a new picture because I missed one for some fucking reason. Okay, here it is. <clears throat> uh, where? Or is it, um, oh, upper right. Right. Yeah, I thought so. So it's cameras and oh, okay. security camera movies. Uh huh. Now, there's cameras in a lot of different rooms and stuff. However, uh, there's no timestamps or references on the video for some um, fucking. Reason. When was the file created? Uh, it was, it looks like they, they have been like every day. And then they just let them run. Um, a lot of the films just show things like maids coming in, making up the beds and shit. There's a couple with sex, but uh, it looks like uh, parts of them were cut out and kept for stuff, but those weren't the sexy time ones. There's very few sexy time ones. A lot of them are just older dudes, all always male, sitting around talking. Um, about... Mm -hmm. You're yeah, not sure. Um, it, it, uh, yeah, there is, but it's usually in different languages and stuff. Hmm. Well, have some... Yes, I do, actually. That's the first <laughs> time it's ever come up. I've got oh. obvious in Arabic. Give me, a, give me a fucking Arabic roll. No, not quite. Yeah, well. uh, uh, let me try. Now, okay, sure. Everybody what? try it. Okay, uh, there's there's also uh, uh, anybody speak German? Everyone does German. Well, everybody yeah. give me a German. Nope. Nope. Okay, how speak about German. Italian? Maddie, I don't Maddie, wants to, Maddie wants to roll on. Fumble. Oh, yeah. Right. They're hey, like, we will take over the world after the next war. Yeah, they're planning the war World War Three. They're planning. Yeah. Der Luftwaffe ist kaputt. Surely we have a translator in the station who can I translate speak, this for I speak Farsi. <laughs> Excellent. Give me a Farsi roll. You find one that's in Farsi. Ah, uh, bollocks. Yeah. I think I have, I have Pashtun. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, that is one of the... There's, this is not called the ambassador for no reason. Um, I, don't suppose, I don't suppose there's one in Spanish, because I've already made my Spanish role today, and I'm... I'm... Uh, actually, uh, it's it's a couple of guys in Spanish talking about water rights and stuff like that. For right, certain, I'm, I'm certain rolling all my languages that make sense here. Mandarin, no... Uh, ask, ask first because uh, okay. not all of them are represented. Uh, uh, can now, no, uh, there is some interesting shit in addition to these different uh, saved videos of people sitting around talking. Uh, there's a, uh, and one of them, there's a, um, there's uh, one, one guy comes in pulling on a mask. In one of the, this is just in one of the videos. He pulls on a mask before he goes in the room, and then he carefully looks around the room, 
And then he begins using towels. And the mask is like a big gorilla type mask, not one of the hairy ones, just one of the rubber ones. And then he uses the towels and sheets from the bed to cover all of the mirrors in the room. And then he goes back through the room, carefully looking around, and then doesn't find any more mirrors. And then he uh, takes off his mask, lets in two other people. They come in and sit down. Two of them uh, pull out phones and begin playing very loud music, and then they begin talking to each other. Now, for this one, I'm going to need a lip reading roll, and if you make it, then yeah. there's another language. I was going to say, did, can we do lip reading? Phil, yeah. lip reading. Yeah. Done. So he was looking for two-way mirrors, but he didn't find this camera. Even yeah. the mirrors that were obviously not two-way, like there was a small hand mirror sitting on a table, and he covered it up with a pillowcase. Oh, seriously? Okay. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yes. So um, you're not sure what's up with that. Then in another video, a it looks like there may be Japanese, maybe Chinese. A man and woman come in. They go to separate parts of the room, take off their clothes, put on panda suits, and then for the next hour, they sit around ignoring each other and pretending to eat bamboo. Then they change back into their regular clothes and leave the room. Wow. I see. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to um, hold that one. <laughs> maybe, they, they should have, maybe they should have been playing Mahjong, but... Uh... Mm. Freddy seemed to enjoy that video quite a lot. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> the expression on Freddie's face as he thinks, will this make good masturbation material? So so hold on. They're eating they have like panda masks over their heads. Oh, they have whole panda suits on. And they is there a mouth hole? Uh kind of, but they're they're just ignoring each other and pretending to eat bamboo. Okay. All right. But they're not really. This is the this is the case cracker. I would tell what rooms these are, at what number. Uh, they're, they're not even labeled, honestly. Uh, security guard might be able to look them over and see what rooms uh, they are. I don't know if you want to show them this. Yeah, I know. This looks mm -hmm. illegal. Uh, mm -hmm. It definitely does not look like uh, something legal. No. Right, so we're the law. We should bring it to the attention of the security guy. Mm. Now there there are there are plenty of uh, sexy time videos and stuff, but none of those got saved. Just the ones where people are sitting around talking about water rights and shit like that. Apparently. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so there is sound on these, right? You said that. Yeah. Okay. So the pandas really weren't talking. Got it. No, no, <laughs> they're just ignoring each other. Occasionally, one would make a panda-like noise. When was the last recording made? What uh, the the uh, uh, day of uh, the victim's death earlier that day. And what is that one of? Nothing special. Nothing special. So if she was working on this, the day of her death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, doing something very illegal for who knows what reason, but suspicious. You see Kinley trying his best to ignore the demons. Ah, demons. Hmm. Okay, so I block Kinley in on all this because he's obviously not looking at the screen. He's just, like, covering his <laughs> eyes. And... Um, are we able to determine using the various lab tech equipment if this is a long-range or a short-range receiver that you mentioned earlier about the signal being unable to connect. Uh, give me a another computer role to figure out what the fuck is going on with that thing. Yeah. Yeah. Made it. Uh, you think it's a short range uh, signal thing that won't connect from here, the police station. Right. Short so maybe in the hotel. We might be able to scrub the place with an RF detector and find out where it where the, the CNC is. 
You guys talk about technical stuff and watch Kinley's carrying <laughs> away. Squirm, squirm. Okay, well, it was Stevens, Demons, Stevens, 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 Stevens. Still don't know who did it. Or did her, rather. Didn't. No, of course not. That's the, that's the, that's the case. Mm. Um, anything else? Oh, let's, uh, do, uh, all right, I'll, since we're done with everything that's on the thumb drive, I'll plug the, uh, the laptop in, and I'll see if I can decrypt those images. Yeah, you'll uh, get the hard drive out of the laptop and, and use that. Uh, yeah. they've, they've got special, you're, there's, there's more to it than that. Uh, give me forensic computing roles. Oh, I actually have that. Oh, good. Yeah. No problem. Yes, Rock's like, I think I should do it myself with my P. And so you're like, first we make a duplicate of the drive so we don't <laughs> fuck up the original, which is called Exhibit A. Right. And, right. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, Freddie, after duplicating it, he's messing around with it. Um, he can't decrypt it, uh, or it will take a, it'll take longer than he's probably gotten his body to decrypt. Oh. Whatever encryption is being used is pretty fucking good. Right. Even By just one way, image. Any, well, any, there's, there's a lot of different stuff on each image. Okay. By the way, um. On Actually, that note, give, me, give me a cryptography role, Freddie. You may try to get just if you focus just in on one small image. Yeah, just one. An idea of what's going on. Uh, so, anyone want to help with this? And yeah. by anyone, I mean, rock? Let me see what my crypto is. Hold on. I've got some cryptology. I got very little, but I'll give it a shot. No. Okay. No. All right. I'll buddy. Dun, 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 oh. dun, 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 so, yeah, it appears that it's unknowable. All right. Um, any emails on the laptop? Any correspondences? Blah, 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 stuff like that. Plenty of shit. If you only had her email address or her email password. We're in the tech lab, I'll hack it. Sure, give me a hacking roll. Give me that. Yeah, he says. Oh, wait, I want to support. Yeah. <laughs> we're, we're just really slotting those checks. No. Okay, I guess. Let me put. Yes. Chris, right. He, he just goes, ah, right. The last two digits of her year of birth, her husband's year of birth, her daughter's year of birth. Bing, there it is. Bitch. <laughs> and, uh, right. Uh, it looks like uh, the only thing that's of interest to you is uh, that she did a lot of work for the charity office for landmine removal. They work in like uh, a lot of countries that have too many landmines, like in Cambodia and shit. And they work on carefully removing them because, you know, there's every year hundreds of kids that say landmines are fun to play with and they end up missing shit from their bodies and stuff. It's a worthwhile charity. I recommend uh, giving to yeah. them. Unexploded, and it's unexploded ordinance is a big deal. It really is. Especially and like I, little cluster bombs just kind of lying around that didn't go off. Kids yeah. missing legs, it's fun. <laughs> yeah, and that also points out to the military you got to make better bombs that go off the first time so you don't. Yeah, that actually kill people, yeah. Yeah. The right people, point. not some kid. All yeah. Right. So, other than that, there's nothing you wouldn't expect a GM of a hotel to be sending and receiving. Okay. Okay. Um, We've got a photograph of the coins. Does anyone want to take a stab at that? Anybody seen what, anything in that? What do you want, uh, what do you want us to do with it? Yeah. Um, well, they seem to be laid out in a specific order. I'm just wondering if we have any ideas on that. I was thinking map points. I was thinking call sign or something. I was thinking um, kind of a... A, a kind of uh, you're kind of maybe like a call sign like as in 
Um, <laughs> it's a reference, like, you know, we use these as uh, tokens, and they, they mean something to these people that to us they just look like normal coins, but they'll have some kind of... Uh, right, like hobo, like hobo signs. Kind of like hobo signs. <laughs> Back to hobos. Back to hobo signs. But, um, so they are normal American coins, right? They are just regular, like, nickels, dimes, quarters. Yeah, the the uh, the the only interesting thing on them, uh, really, that they in more examination is they're all heads up. Right. Ah. She got bashed in the head. It five, all comes together. Ah, five heads. Five heads. Five heads. There's five coins. And there's two quarters on the edges, and I don't know quite what. One looks like a penny in the middle. Five heads. Also, the the um, when they were heads up, all all of them were lined up. The heads weren't like tilted back, tilted forward, upside down. They're all regular profiles, like what you'd expect a person's head to be at that kind of angle, as opposed to getting ready to go down on another one or something. Yeah, yeah. Could be a layout of people in a room. That'd be pretty fucking obscure there. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm just spinning Nobody out. fucking move. I've got the coins. Nobody move. I'm just going to leave the coins like this. You guys have to stay like this or it won't match. <laughs> Imagine fucking trying to convince somebody of that. <laughs> no, no, Russ, don't turn, don't turn your head. I was thinking two bodyguards and VIPs in the middle, you know, uh, how they usually arrange themselves in a room. From from the uh, the look of the thing, it looks like they've been there for quite some time. So. Right. Mm. I wonder if he's like a secret leader of some underground group and someone decided to knock her off maybe yeah well something something definitely weird's going on with all these these massive hidden encrypted files and right you know her we need to... recording hotel rooms which is definitely against uh the privacy of the people staying there <laughs> yes. I, I don't remember if you said did anything was it what the photos were had an encrypted stream in them and that was what we're trying to break? Yeah. Okay. And what's up with those kind of fucking pandas? So and the I'm guy gonna... covering the mirrors. There's a lot of weird shit going on. Yeah, there's a lot of very weird shit. And it's not Can we do a bit of research on this hotel? Like, what is it for? Certainly, that's a really good... I, in fact, take a card, Freddie. Give me a research roll at full as you move all that shit to one side. Well, you can't do it slick moving because you don't have that... Yeah. You're like ah, da, 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 with the mouse. It's supposed to swipe dramatically. Another clip. Um, this this hotel, like even though it's in Chicago, this hotel uh, primarily caters to powerful businessmen, foreign dignitaries, ambassadors, shit like that. Uh, because there's a lot of times when those people, it's not just New York they go to, although that is the primary feeding ground of such people. Um, but it is where they go to uh, also for dealing with that shit when they have business in the Midwest or the rest of the country. It's a more centralized location also. So there's other reasons for them to go there. So just right. very important people go, okay. Sure, mm -hmm. if you want to put it like that. Yeah, I will. Um, Freddie, could you cross index the, oh, there's no timestamps on the, on the. Correct. Videos. Right, good, yeah. right. Damn it. That's called keeping you from going down a fucking rabbit hole. Three hours later, we have this guy. And the guy's like, what? I was just masturbating on my own. I have no idea what's going on here. <laughs> I was just wondering if there are any conventions in town. We have made you fit into the most elaborate conspiracy theory thought of by man. And we know that you are the penny. And he's like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> um. 
Let me see if I'm still backlit because this light is just bright as fuck. You're good. Yeah? Oh, yeah, that's, You're that's good. Fine. That's fine. Yeah. Bye. Hooray. I'm blind. Okay. Now Russ is in the The computer we checked the hotel. All right, let's break out the ten cards and see if we can find the identify the prints and run yeah. all the evidence we found. And uh, it'll take some time. I, sure, you can do that. That's a how long will the coroner's report take? Two days. Uh, actually, by by now, because you guys have been spending lots of time, uh, the coroner comes up with uh, official cause of death Ooh. and time of death. Uh, let's see. The best guess of time of death is between 9.30 p.m. and midnight. The um, <laughs> uh, the yep. victim autopsy, uh, it's a break in the fourth metacarpal. Uh, uh, metacarpal uh, is your finger? Yeah, it's Correct. Finger. Correct. Yep. Resulting from a clenched fist striking something. The... Uh, it looks like she took a knock to the head. You guys are pretty convinced from uh, the coroner's report that she went boom, hit herself on the desk and whatnot. And then um, also... Uh, and then drug herself. To the and then drug herself there. And it looks like it looks like she may have given herself uh, uh, some... Uh, uh, her... It looks like um, the... Corner's not sure, but uh, blood didn't reach her brain for a bit also. And she has some bruising here and here. All oh, right, strangling, okay. Well, yes, but not normal strangling. Her throat was just fine. Her throat yeah. was fine, but she has... Bruising here and here. Oh, okay. Like a collar, maybe, or a, a very tight... She, I was going to say, if you look at the Weird. one picture at the top, she does have a some kind of necklace on or something. Yeah. There's something, something around her throat. Yeah, there is something. Did we buy that at all? Yeah, it, it? it's just normal necklace stuff. Okay. That's another mystery wrapped in a something. So... Uh... She was dead before or after coming into the double dry? Or does the coroner not know? Uh, there was no water in the lungs, he says. Okay. So she was dead when she was in there. She didn't die in the washing machine. That'd be a really gruesome way to die. How how far is it from her office to the washing machines? Because I would Maybe. think not, normally the manager's office is not normally too close to the laundry area. Hers, hers is. I, I think it's probably about 20, 30 meters. I'm guessing there's no cameras from one to the other. No, yeah, there, were, there were two. The ones that were, that were not working right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, Logan, I had a question, an offhand question for you. What what time period does, does this adventure actually take place in? So we know what kind of thing, leads we can follow? Uh, more modern than this. So uh, like current day. Current day. Okay. But I managed to get rid of most of the stuff that doesn't make sense. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah, a lot of the computer stuff doesn't make sense. I, I just wondered what we had. Um, okay. I wanna cool. okay. I wanna go through the employee records and see who was which cleaner slash staff that would have reason to go into the law driven was working that night. It was the two that he was talking to and flirting with and making blush. There you go. <laughs> Anyone else have a reason to go in there? Besides Several the people. Okay, so who was underneath her? All the staff that go in there to do their own laundry on their own time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Anything uh, notable about who she supervised? No. No. Nope. Uh, the prince uh, turned up to be one of the two uh, ladies that, like the ones from the uh, uh, laundry or the washer door, 
one of uh, the women that he was there interviewing, it was her prints and stuff, because she did also yeah. state that she opened it up and had flopped out, and they started screaming and screaming and screaming. And the blood stain on the office was hers? Yeah. She apparently fell down, went boom, drug herself, as uh, Kinley said, to the washing machine because she'd gotten some sort of brain damage. Maybe choked herself a bit just to try to heighten the mood, you know, a little uh, autoerotic asphyxiation. Decided she was a dirty, dirty girl, needed to get cleaned up. Okay, so, <laughs> so fight club, basically. <laughs> so, would, for, okay, if she was just standing next to the desk, fell, Hit her head without being pushed or anything. Would that'd, that be, be, that'd be quite a fucking feat there because there was really nothing to fucking trip over laying on the floor. That it'd, have to be, it'd have to be like, I've forgotten how to walk. Woo! Right. Well, we know that she was, she saw her assailant because she fought back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, anything on the top screen that um, Kinley wanted? No. No, she she hadn't given herself any GHP and alcohol mix, which would have been better than to drug herself up. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> live in the moment. I'm such a dirty, dirty girl. <laughs> so, are we able to guesstimate uh, how much force would be required to bash someone hard enough on the edge of death to kill them? To get an idea of who could have done it, or what build of a person would need to do it. Uh, there's too many variables in there. I mean, because uh, I mean, you could you could line up the police department and have Kinley start pushing people uh, harder and harder to make them fall and bash their head against us, but <laughs> the bodies would just fucking pile up. Okay. I want to uh, go through all the locations that she visited to do this mine stuff, or. Is did she actually go on location? No, no. no. She just okay. gave money to the uh, the thing. You you begin checking into the the mine thing. Uh, it looks like they have a local office. Uh, it's run by some guy named uh, uh, Jeffrey Silver. Okay. Does um, anybody have accounting forensics? Because I'm thinking maybe there's a front there. She's funneling money to somebody. Uh. I don't need friends that fly out of this okay. uh, do we did we manage to actually follow up on the um the great idea I had about the uh financial stuff? Which financial stuff? I asked these guys a while back. I said I want to find if there's any money trails. I wanted to find her. Someone do it. That's oh, what that's what I'm doing. I'm getting back in the lab. I'm I'm trying to get whether or not specifically the charity is is kosher. Does it look so kosher? Do it. Okay, we do uh, that. And we, cool. Um, give me uh, we, uh, give me uh, uh, forensic accounting rolls. Ooh, that, that's the thing. It's on the sheet. Is it does it count? In forensic it ballistic it? computer entomology? No, it's not. Oh, you should be on the sheet, bastards! All right, yeah, okay. I thought it's just not—it's just not there. Maybe for any uh, I guess it's gonna be. No, it's not there. All right, you can try accounting rolls. It's just harder. Failed my accounting roll. Numbers begin dancing wildly in front of your eyes, like ah. you know, Kinley's like, ah, oh, it's not even ah. written on paper. Ah. Let's get a guy in here or a girl. Yeah, hey, let's... you're a. You, you, yeah. We call the accountant the forensic accountant. We call the forensic accountant then. All right. No problem. Yeah. He, he says it'll take me a couple of days. I'll get right on it. Thank you. Anything off. else we want to do with the laptop before he buggers off with it? Oh, I would just. I was going to leave the laptop and just go dig into their into her financials. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure we can get a warrant and stuff. I don't yeah, know if she has any uh, records at her house or anything like that that we'd need. Does she have any records at her house? I thought I thought in the case of murder, it would the, that 
the the, the murder victims uh, records would even if they've got a husband or whatever i thought that would be uh viewable by anyone yeah not if it's sitting in her garage well, for in her office yeah we should go to the house question the husband we'll get back to you on that we haven't gotten to that point yet oh my he says he says all right well when you get something give it to me i'll see if i can get any of the other records off of the computer stuff yep that's that's step number 18. we should go to the house Yay. we get a warrant for what do we need a warrant in the house uh, Talk to the husband. Just talk to the husband. <laughs> Stop I, I just, I just hey, your wanna... wife's dead. We're getting, we're gonna take all your stuff. <laughs> I just, I just want a warrant, just in case we decide we need one. Okay, right. you can put a request in. The, yeah, you put a request in with judge, and he's like, on what grounds? Uh, the husband did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I, I don't say that. I'm yeah, yeah, that's that's actually pretty reasonable um yeah uh, give me give me something more to go on officer give me give me a more probable cause as opposed to i want it just in case i need it well we're looking for financial records to see if she had any financial ties that would ask, cause her ask, to be murdered ask the husband first if he doesn't give them to you then come back and we'll get a warrant drafted very good all right he just glares at you like why am i even here yeah, well, yeah. On the okay. button, but yeah okay. all right let's let's um let's i'm assuming we have our address and everything hold the minute to look for that as well oh no okay, you got it. her address right. it's on her it, okay. it, it, yeah all right um, let's let's get on site cool you guys uh cruise out there with uh russ's impressive driving and stuff uh would you like to drive like a chicagoan and uh curse at the other uh uh, people and stuff as you're driving? Sure, I'll make an intimidate roll. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're at a plus 10% because you're in what's clearly an undercover police car. At a quarter. Right? Uh, some people find themselves turning onto streets that they didn't know that they needed to go on. And shit. Like, ah, here we go. And uh, no problem. As you're pulling up across the street, you uh, see that lady there. Uh, it looks like she's trimming her bushes. Everybody, give me a uh, um, botany roll, please. What lady? Where? Uh, it's down uh, oh, okay. on see. the left. I'm going to give you. Oh, nice. I'm going to give you a biology roll. I fumbled that. Uh, no problem. Yeah, it's it. Uh, you're pretty sure that uh, uh, she's a professional, and you're not. And Freddie's like, wow. Well, and Kinley's like, hmm, it's the wrong time of year to be uh, uh, head, uh, cutting down or cutting back that particular kind of plant. She should have done. She should wait in our month before doing that, at least. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And you guys go up to the uh, um, house, and uh, when you knock on the door, the guy comes out of the door, then shakes hands, and he's like, I'm so happy you're here. Um, he made a very deliberate, like, exiting the door before greeting, like, coming out of the house before greeting you. Did we get a glimpse of what's behind him before it closes the door? Oh, yeah, there's all, he, he doesn't close the door. He leaves it open. Oh, okay. There's just... uh, other people and stuff in there as you can see in the picture that I've uh, just uncovered. Uh, they appear to be like doing that thing that people do when somebody dies and they have over a bunch of other people so you can talk about how much they miss the person who died and stuff like that. Oh, wait. Okay. Good day. I'm uh, Detective Lansbury. These are my partners, uh, Detective Mont and Detective Schicht. He shakes hands all around. Mm -hmm. And he says, would, would you like to come in? Yes, please. He uh, then uh, stands outside of the door and like lets you guys go in first. Then he comes in after closing the door. Mm -hmm. Right inside, I will reveal some more pictures here. Make of them what you will. Uh, it's the daughter and stuff there in green. <clears throat> oh no, yeah. they've been to the village. 
Just kidding. Um, <laughs> number eight, number six. Anyway. <laughs> That's frightening. Um, he, he says, I, I don't know what to say. Everybody loved Terry. Nobody would want to hurt him. My poor daughter is devastated. <sighs> well, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. Thank you. It is a, it is a bad day. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. We have a couple questions to ask you, just standard of investigation. Of course, uh, anything I can do. Can I offer you anything to drink? Mm. Uh, you, he, got, you got bourbon? He goes, uh, <laughs> cup of tea, tea. Cup of tea? Cup of tea? I think this guy's going to want some bourbon. Oh, sure, sure. He says, he blinks a, a couple times. And he, he says, uh, Carly, Carly, could you break out the, uh, the bourbon and make some tea? And she's like, yeah, sure, Dad. And she goes off to uh, uh, do that. <laughs> I can't she, take to get the bourbon. I love it. <laughs> uh, she's like college, like uh, uh, eighteen years old or so. Okay. Um, now, uh, everybody, give me uh, or actually, no spot hidden is needed unless you need to check in it. Um, you guys notice a couple of interesting things that I will let you make of it what you will. First off, in the living room, the couch cushions are compressed all the way across. Also, in the living room, there's a movie ticket for a matinee uh, during the work week. Also, in the living room, uh, the printer is full of high-end cardstock. And in the guest bedroom off of the living room are damp towels and uh, what looks like male toiletries. Good luck. That's a you what? figure it thing. I don't know what the word matinee means. Uh, it's, it's one of the. It's like a show, show like in the, like an early show. Yeah, so, I like you bring your kids show. It's like a twelve or two o'clock. Oh right. Shitty. It's, it's cheaper because it's shitty because there are kids yeah. there. Yeah. But they're generally cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm uh, I'm taking notes. Yeah, that's that's it. They're cheaper. Uh, crushed cushions. All right, let me know if I missed anything in my notes here. Printer card stock, damp towels, male toiletries, matinee tickets, uh, crush cushion. I probably missed something. High end card stock. Okay. Damp towels in the uh, restroom also. Yeah. I so, got that. so I know this is obviously a very delicate time, but we need to ask you obviously various questions that might be. Anything I can do to help, he says. Were, were there uh, were there marital problems going on between you and your wife? Um, 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 every everything is as good as it always was. I'm. Um, Why are you sleeping downstairs and in the spare bedroom? Matt refill. He says, "Well, things have been a bit hard since I since I lost my my job and." Uh, mm. Yeah, you know, it's it's just it's a temporary. He nice. says I lost my job as a financial consultant, which is why I spent yesterday, uh, or actually why I spent fill in overtime of the murder, because you know, it, like last such and such time at a pink slip mixer along with some other unemployed friends. Clearly, what? extra time on your hands to be going to see movies in the middle of the day. He nods sadly. What kind of what did you used to do? Financial consultant, he says. Right. So you did the family accounting, I take it. Yes. Taxes, etc. Of course. Uh, we'll want to see your files. Is there? Sure. Uh, is there? Is there been money issues in because of your? Yeah. Well, she was she was doing she was doing fine. Uh, we weren't we weren't cutting coupons or anything. But still, I I think for me it's it's kind of a self esteem issue if you know what I mean. How long Maybe. have you known Terry? Oh God, it seems like forever. How long have you been married? Been married for 
16, nope, 17 years now. Quite the commitment. His daughter brings in, uh, and he says, well, you sure. know, daughter brings in a tray. Uh, there's like uh, tea and then a bottle of bourbon and a couple of glasses. There you go, Ma. I know you're. I know you've oh. been you've been aching. So, does he does the daughter stay or does she leave after bringing the drinks in? She uh, stays. I can uh, it can really like. Uh, I'm like no one's going to his head right now, but I don't say anything. Not at all. How could you say that? Um. Again, I don't mean to be. Um, Bad here in this time of need, but there are certain questions we still need to ask. Um, this might be a di difficult one. Uh, are you uh, your daughter's biological father? He looks truly, truly empathy rolled. Mm -hmm. Shocked. He says, of course I am. She actually does look a little bit like him. Like, yeah, enough that it's like, yeah, yeah. She also yeah. looks shocked. She's like, what kind of police are you? Well, uh, we are just putting time frames together. You, you said you've been married 17 years, but your daughter is 18. So did you have them out of that wedlock? What's that got to do with anything? It could have everything to do with everything. <laughs> he says, he, he looks like, what the, what? He says, we were living together for years before that understandable but i'm just saying you did have your daughter out of wedlock i think i should ask you to leave he says you can but uh, these questions could be vital in uh, finding out what happened to your wife I, everything was fine nothing carly's like God, she just goes no bourbon takes the bottle and storms oh. off. Oh. <laughs> oh, you blew it, man. Would you like some tea? I, I pull out my emergency bourbon bottle. He <laughs> 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 just gapes at you. <laughs> he's, he's, he sees what he thinks to be a short alcoholic black cop <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry Mott. no free bourbon for you yeah just have to use my so um stuff. Hmm. Uh, pardon my partner uh the financial this is my sorry this is my second emergency ball i've already gone through my emergency ball today so yeah <laughs> the guy just gapes at you professional you demeanor right <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> except for yeah except for I'll call it which triumphs I'll over look, look at me. Mm -hmm. all right so we want all the financial records delivered to the police so we can search through um the charity yes, your wife well, gave to how long was she giving to uh meals with um, wheels i don't know what the hell it is <laughs> well, meals with wheels was only uh three years and that was 15 years ago the current charity is uh the uh, uh, anti landmine campaign. Right. How long what? has you been involved with that? 20 years. Uh, what, um... We're both very passionate about not having innocents hurt by landmines or insensitive people. Right. Okay. So you've been um, <laughs> printing off some copies of your resume lately, have you? Yes. Yes. Oh, and sleeping on the couch, of course. That's what. That yes, is. that's why the crush cushions. Yeah. So, what uh, what um, sports does your daughter play? Uh, soccer, he says, being an American and not acknowledging football in any way, other than a bunch of guys in padding wrecking their knees and getting concussions. Looks like she's quite the talented star, sir. You must be very yes, proud. Yes. Uh, she's been offered a full scholarship to uh, uh, University of Chicago, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. There, she has a lot of different places she could go. She's even been offered a, a partial ride at Brown, but not for uh, soccer, for scholastic. 
Mm. So she's very bright too. Yes, we're very proud of her. Empathy rolls. Half. Oh, he's got that father pride in his eyes. And if you mm. fucking yeah. let this continue on, he'll be wanting to show you fucking uh, pictures of uh, you know her as a kid and shit. Well, considering we pissed him off before, I encouraged that. Yeah. Oh, all right. You're sitting on the couch and give me a fast talk roll as uh, you're trying to smooth things over as uh, Kinley is necking his second emergency bottle. <laughs> Success. Right. Uh, they're going. They're going through pictures of her as a kid. It's seeming to calm them down. It's it's working. Take card, Russ. Uh, maybe towards the end of that, I would. But once it's calmed down a little, um, I would pass back up. <laughs> Gonna rile them up again. All right. Anyway, uh, I don't. Um, sorry. Ahem. Did your um, late wife oh, not God. get along with anyone? I wish she, she got along with everyone. Everybody loved her. Terry so was like never going to any fights with anyone. Right. It looks baffling. Disagreements or anything like that? Or sure the disagreements with people. Everybody gets I angry. suddenly I suddenly say, did she tell you about the death threats? Oh, from the the uh, prostitutes at work. Empathy. Success. Kind of one of those half remembered stories like, is this really where we're going? Well, she's uh, she's been uh, that was so a long, long time. I, I think that was like a couple months ago, like three months ago or something. Well, sometimes people play the long game. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, so. Do you remember what the threats were about? No. She just vented. Yep, yep. But they were death threats, not I'm just going to hit you threats. They were death threats. I uh, guess. He looks at you with the, uh, the baffled expression of a man who, when his wife is venting, is only half listening. It is oh. a normal normal male expression so you damn just, true <laughs> <laughs> you just have no one to go mm -hmm, yeah she had it coming that horrible fuck her entire know. gender anyway uh, uh, do you have her mobile around somewhere can we look at it so, uh, i'm sure she's got it oh yeah she's mm. he goes we didn't, we didn't find it in her office it might be yeah. her can you call her number and maybe it'll go off? He tries it. Or, uh, he looks a bit shocked and she goes, it's, it's her answering machine. He listens yeah. to the message and then closes the phone. Yeah. Um, your, uh, your next door neighbor, um, she was um, cutting some bushes out there that she really shouldn't have been for this time were of they year. somebody else's bushes no no they were her bushes but that, that kind of plant shouldn't really be trimmed at this kind of year. She was, uh, <laughs> he looks at the bottle of alcohol like it's it's part. bugging me it's just bugging me Who, you don't, your cook, you don't the cut a bush like that uh, is there something with her is there something up with her uh, Mrs. Emerson? She's very passionate about flowers. Is that her name? That's right. Okay. He's done bonsai before. Don't don't ask him about it. I'll start showing you all the pictures. Oh God. I was she um, was she like um was she extra like was she watching us when we came in? Oh yeah. Okay, we pulled up in an unmarked police car and yeah. With the uniforms or oh, actually we was, we badges was on our jackets were detectives. Would you <laughs> would you consider your neighbor a nosy neighbor by any chance? Yes, he says. Really? Okay. Mm, okay. Mm. That could be a lead. A well, lead. um 
get those financial uh yes yeah, so financial I'll, records to us get on that please uh especially the taxes fine okay and, and, uh, back. did you say this, you your your daughter is uh is she going to college yes that's quite an expensive thing isn't it for not if she gets a full ride or mm -hmm. even partial ride she is, has a scholarship oh partial ride at brown full ride at university of chicago we covered that he says he I was looks drinking. it's okay he's been drinking he's he's fine okay. he just glares at you all right sir well thank you for your time uh, um, yes. Uh, will we may contact you if we uh, find anything else out for questioning. Yes. And again, I'm sorry for your loss, sir. Thank you. Yes, I feel the same. I'm sorry, but we, we, I just leave. <laughs> I hope you and your daughter. I hope you and your your daughter um, have good fortune in the future, better fortune. Is the, uh, uh, is uh, the nosy, nosy, is the nosy neighbor still outside, Logan? When we go out, you go out. You look across the street, and here's what you see. Dunk. God damn, she's still doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going over. Yeah. All right. You guys all wander over to her and she goes, Ooh, hello. Ma'am, you do know it's too early to be trimming that bush. Oh, is it? <laughs> Jesus. Yes. Perhaps you would like some tea? Oh, yes, please. She has we, you all come into her house and whiskey she, that up. Yep. Oh my. She <laughs> pours a cup of whiskey in the ears and nice. Yeah. Here's her in her house. She says, So what was what was happening over there? Uh, Terrible tragedy I hear. Yes, we we just obviously had to ask um uh some you questions think you of did it, didn't you? You think he did it, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, that's always a that's always the first oh, I knew it. Oh. We don't why think would, he did it, but he's definitely you know why would why would you suspect. why would you think that though? Because I watched it on the telly. What? The husband always does it. Oh. Um do you uh you seem to be out in the garden a lot. Um have you seen Ooh. anything strange happening? Um Anyone strange coming and going, or mm -hmm. uh, well, any noises coming from the house at different times that are, that are not normal? Terry was a lovely woman. Lots of people thought so, men especially. Oh, really? Yeah. I wouldn't want to speak out of school. Is, is she putting on, like, over exaggerating this? Or she being... I don't know. Am I over exaggerating <laughs> here? <laughs> um, there weren't any uh, gentlemen callers when her husband was out at work, were there? Oh, there may have been. Mm -hmm. Really? I mean, a very handsome man would often drop by, always when Oliver wasn't home, before he lost his job, of course. Could you describe the gentleman for us? Oh, I can do better than that. My friend Sheila didn't believe me when I said St. Terry was entertaining a gentleman caller, so I took a picture as proof. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get a picture of his plates? <laughs> yes, there is a picture. Here it is. <laughs> There's the plates. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to lose my chip for a little bit. <laughs> we, sh we should All employ right. this lady. All right. <laughs> Thank you. She, she, does, she does better jobs than most of the PCs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for the laughter. I just I'm like, very oh, surprised sorry. that you're such a thorough photographer. Are you an amateur inspector? Do you oh, handle sorry. cases like Angela Lansbury and Murder She Wrote? Ooh, charmer. <laughs> right. Other than that, she has no other relevant information. You guys, uh, she tries to drag whatever <laughs> gossip she can out of you because this is apparently what she's really 
really into, you know, she'll, if she's talking about buying new bushes to replace the ones that she accidentally chopped down <laughs> too early. Yeah. So Can you give her yeah. some pointers on that actually. 